Hey, this is Brad Goss, and I just want to share with you some really quick Flippa bidding tips based on all the questions I get about how these auctions work, and just so you can kind of understand the inner workings of Flippa and a couple of cool strategies for uh, how to win these auctions and not overpay. The first tip I'm going to tell you is to enter your maximum budget into the bid box. Uh, a lot of people will enter the number that Flippa shows in brackets where it says here in this particular case enter 14,600 or more. The reason why they say or more is because they automatically manage the bidding process for you. So let's say in this case this auction is at 14,500. If someone, let's say the, the winning bidder has a maximum budget of $15,000 and you enter in $23,000, that's not going to take the auction up to $23,000 like in a traditional auction where you would call out that number and it would automatically take the auction up to that amount. It's only going to outbid the highest bidder by, in this case, $100. So if someone's maximum is $15,000 and you enter in $23,000, you will become the winner at, uh, or the current winner, current high bidder, at $15,100. So it's not going to take the auction up to twenty-three. dollars What's good about this is it allows you to assess the auction in advance and say, okay, in my mind, this auction's worth $23,000. You enter in that number, and if somebody does outbid you, uh, you don't get emotional. You're not going to get into, involved in a bidding war and you're not going to overpay for a website. And that's really important because you don't want to be in a situation where you've paid too much because you got emotional and now you're desperate. Uh, you know, it's just a bad strategy all around. And also understand that this number is private. I don't see your maximum number. I don't know what your max budget is. That's between you and Flippa. So all I know is you're the high bidder. Don't wait until the end of the auction. A lot of people will set the alarm and wait until the last few minutes of the auction to start placing bids. What people don't realize is Flippa actually resets the end time by 60 minutes every time a bid comes in in the last hour, and they, there's no limit on this. So I've had auctions start, you know, that were supposed to end at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, finishing at 8, 9 o'clock at night because people kept bidding in at the last minute thinking they were going to scoop it, but Flippa just resets the end time to 60 minutes again. I've actually had people messaging me and saying, why are you, you know, extending your auction? I'm not doing it. Flippa does it automatically to prevent last minute frenzy. Um, so that's why the first strategy is really important. Just enter in your maximum budget and, you know, see if you get it. Just want to say thanks for paying attention to this video and thank you for looking at my listings and uh, I hope you win an auction and really look forward to working with you.